Hello everybody and welcome back to some more League of Lore with Pongor Stormfiend. This time around we're looking at Anivia, the Cryo Phoenix. An eternal guardian, the Cryo Phoenix has held a solitary vigil over the Freljor for a thousand lifetimes, sensing a growing corruption of the land itself. Anivia joins the Avarosan in the belief that a united Freljord can defeat the coming darkness. Anivia is a being of the coldest winter, a mystical embodiment of ice magic, and an ancient protector of the Freljord. She commands all the power and fury of the land itself, calling the snow and bitter wind to defend her home from those who would harm it. A benevolent but mysterious creature, Anivia is eternally bound to keep vigil over the Freljord through life, death, and rebirth. Anivia is as much part of the Freljord as the never-ending frost. Long before mortals had ever set foot on the land's frigid tundra, she had lived countless lifetimes and died as many deaths. The beginnings and ends of her eternal cycle always heralded great change, from the calming of raging storms to the ebb and flow of ice ages. It is said that when the Cryo Phoenix dies, an era ends, and when she is reborn, a new era begins. Though Anivia's past lifetimes have faded from her memory, she knows her purpose. She must protect the Freljord at all costs. When she was last reborn, Anivia witnessed the rise of a mighty and united human tribe. She guarded their lands with pride as they prospered, but such unity could not last forever. The great tribe fractured into three. And after that, upheaval, and even watched the people of the Freljord become embroiled in battle. As she strove to calm the turmoil, tearing her home apart, and Evia began to sense a greater threat. An ancient evil growing deep within the earth. To her horror, she felt the pure magic of the ice itself become blackened and corrupt. Like blood and water, darkness crept into the Freljord. With her destiny so tied to the power of the land, Anivia knew if such evil took root in her home, the same darkness would find its way into her heart. She could no longer remain a mere guardian. Cryo Phoenix had to act. Anivia soon discovered an ally in Ash, the Frost Archer. Ash too believed in uni unification as an end to the Freljord's perpetual strife. And Anivia offered the tribal leader her aid. Now, with war on the horizon, Anivia prepares to fight for peace. But she knows the inevitable truth of her destiny. One day, evil will rise from the ice, and she must destroy it, no matter the cost. So, there's a couple things to note here about Anivia. The ancient evil she speaks of is Lysandra. Lysandra is the ancient evil that she must stop. And with good reason. Lysandra is, is evil to the core. She is just nasty. Sedrawani, on the other hand, is more morally gray. She's not really evil. She just believes she has a claim. Um, in addition to that, however... Anivia has formed a close friendship with a few League champions as well. Nunu and his yeti Willem, as well as, you know, Ash, the Queen of Freljord. Anivia can also be seen in uh, one of the Journal of Justices uh, attending Ash and Trenmere's uh, coronation as Freljord's new Queen and King. Anivia also has a nest on the northern slopes of the Iron Spike Mountains. This raises the question of, does Anivia actually lay eggs? And if she does, is it possible there are more cryo phoenixes that we just don't know about? Finally, Grayer mentioned about a sacrifice Anivia had done. She probably died during the war on the Howling Abyss. But that's not confirmed, of course. We don't know if that is what happened. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this piece on Anivia. And remember, 
I am the fury of the blizzard, the bite of the wind, and the cold of the ice. I am the Frelshord.